This week's Four Questions Journalist Spotlight is brought to you by Lefts Atlanta Media, Atlanta's best journalist database. Subscribe at leftsatlantamedia.com. Welcome to another edition of our Four Questions Journalist Spotlight. We are talking today with Ron Daniel with the Douglas County Sentinel. Good afternoon, Ron. How are you today? Hey, I'm good, Mitch. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for thanks for t- taking a couple of minutes to to be with us uh, for our our lightning uh, lightning round forecast to look at uh, at different journalists around Georgia. So I really appreciate it. Um, so uh, can, this first question is kind of a two part question, and one is kind of a, what is what do you do with the Sentinel? What's your what's your title and what's your role? And then give me a little background about kind of how you got there, kind of the the journalist path that brought you to where you are at the paper now. Okay, sure. Yeah. So, um, well, as like I said, I, I'm at the I'm the managing editor at Douglas County Sentinel, and I've been here for ten years. Um, I started out actually started out like funny story or whatever, but it was a there was a a sports editor here who like uh, had an accident at a football game and uh, and uh, they needed a sort of a fill in or whatever. And so I kind of started as a, as a fill in for the sports guy, then moved into news. And then when uh, the editor at the time left, uh, was promoted to managing editor. I've been doing that for eight years. And um, oh, I is, it, is it eight years already? Yeah, it's been eight <laughs> years already. I know. Like, it seems yeah. like yesterday. I know. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it's been eight years. Um, uh, but I mean, you know, oversee, you know, all of our coverage for our, you know, print newspaper still big and then our online edition and then, you know, sort of making certain, you know, scheduling posts for Facebook and Instagram and that sort of thing. Um, before that, I did, uh, I worked in hospitality for a little bit. Uh, and prior to that, I, I spent five years at the Times Georgian out in Carrollton, uh, where I was, I started out there as a sports writer and became a sports <clears> editor <throat> out there and covered, you know, West Georgia sports for five years, hence me being a fill in for sports here um, uh, years later. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in economics from Georgia State University. Very proud of that. Um, <laughs> is the Sentinel is it uh, owned by a, a larger media company or are you guys independent? Yeah, it's owned by um, Paxson Media Group out of Paducah, Kentucky, and uh, uh, we are part of this group called the Newspapers of West Georgia. They, so our papers printed out in Carrollton. That's where the printing press is. Where the uh, we're sister papers <clears throat> for the Times Georgian, which is a five day paper, and then they also have a paper in Harrelson County and a paper a weekly paper in Villa Rica. Uh, and then there's a, the company also owns the Griffin Daily News. Okay. All right. So and do you, properties. Yeah. do you guys share some content a little bit between the papers that are kind of sort of near each other? If it's yeah, relevant. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, Villa Rica, since it's, you know, sort of like, you know, roughly 50, 50 in Douglas and Carroll counties, there's a lot, there's definitely a lot of shared content, you know, on that sort of side of our county, you know, on, on the Villa Rica side of things. And how many, uh, how many full-time and how many, uh, Say freelancer or stringer staff? Do you guys have right now? Uh, we have it's myself, and we have a, a full time uh, sports editor slash news reporter, uh, uh, and uh, and Derek Mahone, who's a like a long time AJC guy, uh, who lives over here. And uh, then we have you know several stringers and stuff that helps out columnists, and you know guy who does you know features and stuff for us. So <clears throat> I always like to ask this question for folks who <laughs> might have a story idea. So if, if is it better to go to you and you kind of be the gatekeeper and say, okay, this goes to Derek or this goes to a stringer or try and go to one of the, one of the reporters directly? What, and it, cause I know it varies from paper to paper to in terms of what's more effective and more efficient. Yeah. It's, it's definitely best to come through me uh, for okay. anything. And we'll definitely try, you know, if it's something, you know, that's of interest, we'll definitely try and get to it. I mean, I, you know, definitely hyper local to Douglas County and things affecting people in Douglas County. So. Yeah, and I and I guess that's that's the the next really important point is you you are focused on Douglas County and do you do you kind of cross the the line at all? Is that is it or is it pretty much you're you're not Douglas County? You we don't, we don't want to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Largely, unless there's, you know, something, I mean, you know, like, um, I mean, with COVID stuff, I mean, Cobb and Douglas Public Health. So, you know, we're definitely looking at, you know, like the, with, with the health department being sort of cover both counties. And, um, you know, there, there's some things for sure that cross the, that, you know, cross the line. And sometimes we're, you know, for sure, we're looking at, um, you know, metro trends, if it's like real estate or something like that. I mean, you know, we, you know, we, you know, definitely, you know, try to look at the, the you know, the, the bigger picture outside of, you know, kind of our you know, immediate boundaries, but. I remember talking to uh, an editor down, I think he was down around Tifton somewhere, and we were talking about coverage areas and, you know, what he likes to cover and what he doesn't like to cover. He says, you know, I, I, I'm not even going to try to do his his <laughs> his uh, his accent, but, you know, if Jesus came back and he was on the other side of that county line, we'd have a long conversation about whether we want to cover it or not. Right. <laughs> I said, okay, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. Yeah. I mean, that, 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 that does, <laughs> you know, there's, there definitely really feels like some truth to that. I think probably in a lot of what, you know, a lot of the, the you know, the kind of local uh, newspapers and stuff. Um, what, what do you, what do you look at in terms of kind of the most important stories that you, that you want to cover and that you try to cover? Um, man, I think for us, the big thing is, I mean, crime, you know, kind of the big stuff, um, uh, local government. I mean, we're definitely trying to keep an eye on all those guys. Um, it, I mean, it's like when I first got here, we staffed everything, you know, we staffed, you know, Douglasville City Council and Douglas County Commission and stuff. But I mean, you know, they're again, now they're now everything, uh, especially since COVID more, I guess, maybe, but I mean, you know, now everything is, is video. And so, I mean, you know, with a small staff, it's sometimes, it's, you know, it's kind of easy to, to just pop up the, the screen and, you know, and watch it remotely, uh, just to kind of keep things going here. But um, I mean, we, you know, we still, uh, it, those typical things we look government cops and courts uh i mean you know education we can get to it if there's something you know education wise um we still cover sports um you know although it's i say that's kind of a little bit with derek doing news and sports that's uh you know takes more you know there um you know and i mean you know i think you know the, you know an old editor you know talked to you know that i kind of admired you know talked about you know celebrating your community and you know obviously you know we definitely want to you know i mean we have we do actually have a local feature that we do every couple of weeks with that sort of tied into a chamber campaign here called this is douglas where we do try to you know spotlight um you know people people usually people that live here but sometimes you know it can be business or whatever but just sort of what you know why they love douglas county you know what the, why they're here that kind of thing or whatever just to kind of you know promote the community i guess in that way What's a what's a really important story that you guys have covered lately that you're that you're proud of? Oh wow! Not that you're not proud of everything, but <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, <laughs> something wow. something you're like, wow, you know, this this one this one made a difference. This one was really important to the community, and I, I feel like I feel like we did a good job with that one. <laughs> Gosh, uh, you would ask that. Uh, All right, we'll come yeah. we'll come we'll come back yeah, to come that. Come back to that. Yeah, you yeah, you, can, like you can think about. I'll give you some. I'll give you some time right. to think about that All one. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Are there are the things kind of kind of coming down the pipeline that you that you want to make sure you cover that are kind of really important to residents as we kind of get into, you know, get into elections, get into, you know, the November season, campaign season and all that? Yeah, I mean, right now, like the thing that's going on here and I think across the area, the metro area is, uh, is the go look governments are setting their the millage rates. And um, and I mean, it, it, you know, AJC had a great story on that a few weeks ago about, you know, the fact that, you know, a lot of governments are just kind of uh, and, you know, I think pretty much all the governments here are leaving their millage rate unchanged and with the housing market, you know, it's bike and, uh, you know, they're, they're able to take in a lot more money and, you know, and try and say it's not a tax increase, um, even though it, the state considers it one, um, you know, when you leave the rates the same, but the, the values of like, all the properties going up and they're, they're taking a lot more money. And so that's really the big thing that I can think of right now. That's like super um, important, you know, I mean, to, I mean, people's pockets, uh, pocketbooks uh, here, and then, yeah, for sure, election season. Um, I mean, we're uh, we see a lot of. I mean, we're we're not um, oblivious to you know things that are going on on Facebook, and you know the, the people like you know, a lot of people want to. Um, they you know see a crime story and they go, oh, crime is so horrible in Douglas County now, you know. And, I, and there's there's some middle ground there, you know. It's not the '50s here anymore or whatever, <laughs> but it's not. You know, but it's it's not you know it's 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 probably not as bad as a lot of people think it is, and so you know just kind of looking at trends and um, it, those are kinds of things that I could think of that you know might be kind of cool to to you know maybe have an expert on or something like that because it's you know population growth and you know proximity to Atlanta and stuah you know it's not uh, it, you know, a lot of that drives that I guess. Um, 
Yeah, my, my sister lives out that way, and uh, I always try to avoid getting stuck behind the trains. Yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. that's my goal. Is okay when I come through there, I gotta t- yep. I gotta figure out how to not get stuck behind the train. Otherwise, <laughs> you'd be my, otherwise might as well just sit and have dinner somewhere, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, some days. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So so here's the this is this next one is the hardest question. So all right. what is what's something cool or fun about you that folks might not know? And this could be could be a hobby or a hidden talent or things you collect and any anything like that. Something like. Uh, and, and I get all kind. Of, I get people who tell me they <laughs> they skydive or they collect, you know, bottle caps or they sing in the shower. All, all kinds, of, all <laughs> kinds of. I get all kinds of interesting answers to this, and this is the hidden hidden insight into into Ron here. Okay, and it needs to be about me, not about the paper. No, nah, this is this one's about you. All right, fair enough. All right, uh, people that know me know this, but uh, but um, but I still think it's kind of interesting. Um, back in the like when the internet was just sort of, I mean, hitting or whatever in the, the early mid nineties, um, uh, like I kind of, you know, always loved the comedian Bob Newhart and his TV shows and stuff. And so I helped create the sort of, there was the unofficial Bob Newhart website, um, with this guy over in Texas. And, uh, we were, and we were kind of it. And we like actually like corresponded with Bob and Bob, you know, you know, help, you know, provide us, you know, stuff, send me lots of letters and stuff back in the day. And, and, super cool he's a great guy he's still you know he's like 95 years old now or something like that but still going i think he still does some shows uh or whatever but that was kind of cool i mean that was kind of a, a thing like the ajc actually did a write-up on it you know probably like 97 say so, you know you just think about you know where, where the internet was was at in 97 right, right. Um, so that's that's probably the I, th- I think the thing that kind of is probably the most interesting thing. is that is that website still up and running Oh wow! Um, his son Rob took it over eventually. Um, but if you do the what's it the way way back machine or way, way back, back machine? Or, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you can you can find <laughs> it. I mean, it's out there and it's it's super cool. We had like the like the wood. You know, it was kind of modeled more on the the '70s show where he's a psychiatrist in Chicago right, or whatever. Right. So it was like wood panel, you know, th- thing going on uh, with the right. black and yellow and all that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try and find <laughs> that. I, I, do, I do like to intersperse some pictures and in, in other videos sometimes oh, cool. with 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 a the two talking heads here so i may see if i can track that down that'd be awesome uh oh i forgot to ask so uh what's for the for the paper what's the popular popular let me try that again what's the uh publication schedule uh we come out tuesday thursday and saturday okay tuesday thursday okay and that always helps i I always like to ask that because that kind of helps people understand your deadlines Yep, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays are yeah. you know a little more hectic than uh, Tuesdays. Right, Tuesdays. all right, yeah. Uh, I always try to figure out okay if if they're publishing on Tuesday, then you know Monday is not the best day. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so so this next part is that uh, what I call the lightning round. So you don't need to give long answers, but these are kind of some little little bit of kind of fun insight and and, and knowledge of the of your community. Uh, so. What is what's your favorite local restaurant? Oh, uh, Hudson's Hickory House. All right. Uh, favorite guilty pleasure? Uh, 80s music. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So I got to follow up with that. F- right. Favorite favorite 80s band? Oh, wow. Def Leppard. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Uh, local getaway? Uh, in the county or can it be anywhere? It could be outside. Okay. I mean, we like to hike in North Georgia Mountains, uh, state okay. parks and stuff. All right. Do you have a, a favorite? Oh, um, I like Tallulah Gorge. I don't know if my wife would agree with that because of the stairs, but yeah, um, but um, it's, it's really pretty there. Yeah, Tallulah and Cat and Cloudland. I, I love I love going down there, but it's the coming back up is uh, yeah can be a little painful. <laughs> yeah, I, I always go with with the scouts and the the little scouts are running up the stairs and I'm like trudging along behind them, going, "I'll be there. Just wait for me. <laughs> right. Wait for me. I'm 15 minutes behind you, but I'll I'll be up there eventually." Yeah. All right. Um, Favorite okay, um, favorite non-work hobby. Oh, um, so on the weekends we like to go to craft breweries like around North Georgia and like sample different beers and and do the food trucks and stuff. I mean, you know, like I check social media and I and I kind of want to know which food truck's going to be at which brewery and then you know kind of make that a, a weekend and stuff. And it's I don't know, it's I guess it's become a, you know a bit of a hobby because I've kind of gotten a lot better at you know kind of what I, what beers I like and that kind of thing, just styles and stuff. And you know, you do do, do little little flights of five different beers, that kind of thing. Occasionally, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay. Um, okay. Last book you've read or the last podcast you've listened to. So we just did a, like a trip to, I won't make it too long, but we just did our, our vacation this year was um, we did, we went to uh, Philadelphia, New York and Washington DC. And one of the things we did in DC was we went to um, uh, Ford's theater and stuff and saw the, you know, where Lincoln was assassinated and stuff. And right. so I came back and I read this book called Manhunt by James L. Swanson about the 12 day search for Lincoln's killer. Super interesting. And I think Apple TV plus is making a, a series out of it. So that's kind of cool for me. So, okay. Really good book. All right. Um, so let's see. So what are some, I guess, what are some ways that you would suggest if a, if a company or a nonprofit wanted to be kind of, as we say, part of the magic of the mm-hmm. Douglas County Sentinel, uh, you know, what do you, what do you want them to think about? What, what are the pieces that you want them to put together before they, send you an email or, or pick up the phone and call. And obviously the first piece is got to be kind of related to, to Douglas County, but what, what are the, yeah, yeah. What, (laughs) yeah. I mean, imagine you get a million, you probably get a, you know, a million emails that are metro wide kinds of things. And they think, Oh, I'll just send this to Douglas County too. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. All day long. I'm I'm kind of, you know, uh, yeah. Just delete, 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 delete. delete, delete. delete. Yeah. So yeah. (laughs) So, you know, some, you know, some way to, to sort of, you know, if, if not directly related, you know, if it doesn't say Douglas County in the email, you know, like, I mean, you know, show, you know, I guess, you know, show me how like it, it could relate to Douglas County, you know, right. um, you know, the, like I said, if there's, there's some trend or, or whatever, I mean, you know, like I'm totally interested, you know, if you can help me, you know, I mean, get the, so, I don't know. yeah. I don't know what you're, yeah. Uh, what are, what do people tend to leave out when they're, when they're pitching you stories, what what do you look at and think? You know, I wish they had told me this. Oh wow! Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of flipping. I'm looking at my email now, just to kind of because I'm trying to I'm trying to you know kind of get an idea or you know kind of to think of maybe what what might be there. But yeah, I mean, it, like like I said, so much of it is is Douglas or yeah, I mean. Yeah, and, and so much, you know, some and so much of the time, I'm just kind of scanning through, you know, because it's just, you know, it's not enough time today. Right, so, right. Yeah. I remember looking at a media advisory that someone had shared with me a couple of years ago, and somebody was doing an event at Stone Mountain Park, and all the the only thing the wear said was Stone Mountain Park. <laughs> right. And I looked at that as a, and it's like, okay, I go there a lot. I'm like, okay, is it? by the boat dock is it under the mountain is it by the carving is it is it by the is it by the bike trail around the back there's like you know like 10 miles of trails around the park i said i said good luck finding it you know come come meet our group as we celebrate whatever right drive around the park so (laughs) yeah and 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 i i see that Uh, you probably see this too you know someone will send you like okay didn't say when it is or didn't say where it is or didn't put a contact on there or they put a contact, but, but they put, the, put their office number on there, which, you know, either they're not in their office or they're not right. going to be in their office when the event's happening, which doesn't, doesn't help you. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah you're right. Yeah, for sure. I mean, all the details, I mean, I'm, I'm very much detail oriented and for sure. Yeah. Those kind of things you've got to, you've got to have that in there <laughs> for, you know, to, 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 to have a shot at, you know, kind of getting through. So how would you say, cause so you're, so the paper's published three days a week. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the web, are you doing uh, kind of daily stories in addition, or or is it really just what's on the what's on the web? Is that what's in the papers? Is it kind of the same thing? Um, I, I think. I mean, you know, if there's something something breaking, I mean, you know, then then that's kind of the the, the spot news kind of things. I mean, we had a, a you know a, a a guy crashed into a school bus the other day and he was killed. And I mean, you know, so like that, that's something that's happened this week that, you know, we rushed that out to the, to the web and, and on social mm-hmm. media, even though it wasn't a production day here, we weren't, you know, what, what, you know, didn't go into the paper until today and it happened Tuesday, I think. So, so yeah, that kind of thing will go on the web, uh, you know, most everything else, um, you know, just because of our limited staff is, is pretty much going to, you know, it's going to be, if it's in the paper, it's, you know, it's on the web and, you know, roughly around the same time frame. Okay. All right. Is there anything else that we haven't talked about? Any, any uh, you know, nonprofits that you love to support? Want to give a shout out to uh, in in the area that uh, you people should know about? Anything like that? Oh wow. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, there's, we've got a lot of great nonprofits here. I mean, uh, Beyond the Front Porch is a is a is a great one. We've worked with uh, Kasha Lipford, who runs that for like the entire time entire time I've been here, and that helps uh, you know get kids on field trips who otherwise wouldn't get to go. Um, yeah, there's there's so many great ones here, but yeah, that's that's definitely one that comes to mind. Okay, uh, she's awesome. Very good. And, and so beyond beyond the, beyond front, the porch, front porch, yeah. Okay, what's what's their focus? Um. Like I said, it's, 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 it's trying to, uh, it's definitely trying to get, uh, kids, uh, that she takes, uh, kids on field trips, uh, like on the weekends, uh, that, that, who like otherwise, I mean, I think, uh, you know, cause field trips were cut out of schools for a long yeah, time, right, kind right. Of like a little way to kind of get kids out to see the, the world. I mean, she takes them to like, she takes them, I think, uh, tubing and Helen and they go to the, the space and rocket center in Huntsville and, uh, you know, some other things like that. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, we've been, uh, been talking to Ron Daniel, who's the managing editor of the Douglas County Sentinel. Thank you, Ron, for uh, for taking some time. We really appreciate it. And uh, as always, catch us every every Sunday ish, unless I'm camping somewhere, for another edition of our <laughs> Four Questions Journalist Spotlight. And uh, you know, always kind of look at go look at uh, you can hear these on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or whatnot, and you can watch the. The videos on on YouTube. Make sure you click that subscribe button on YouTube, because I have visions of being like a YouTube billionaire at some point if I can get to the whatever thousand followers I need to to do that. But yeah, then that's going to fund my retirement, right? <laughs> that's that's the dream. I, I will see yeah. if that ever happens. <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody. We'll see you next week.